One of the top rivalries will be front and center this weekend when St. Louis City travels to Sporting Kansas City Saturday night. Lead analyst for MLS Season Pass on Apple TV, Taylor Twelman joins us now to talk about the big match. Taylor, good morning to you. Good morning to you in St. Louis. How are you doing? We are good. We're excited for this big match going down with uh, mm -hmm. Sporting KC. So how far are these two teams apart in the Western Conference standings? It's interesting when you look at it. You can look at the standings, but more so, I think they're extremely close to each other because I think it surprised everyone when you think about how quickly this rivalry got going. They played each other five times last year. 20 goals were scored in those games. And yet you look at the way the inaugural season happened for St. Louis City. They surprised everyone. The best expansion year in the history of the league. They win the West, and yet they're un upset by Sporting Kansas City, their bitter rival is the eighth seed. So you have this unbelievable accomplishment for St. Louis City and then this bitter disappointment in how the season ends. I don't care what they tell you in-house, they're looking for revenge Saturday night. I think we can agree with that in-house that there's some revenge to be had. What type of impact has City SC made on the league since joining? I can't tell you how many questions I get about St. Louis. Now, now listen, I, I've been... I have beat the drum for a long time about the city of St. Louis and the support and the fan base and the love. There's very few cities in the United States of America where soccer's at the fabric, the heartbeat of the city, and yet it needed that local owner and the Taylor family to come in and build that mecca of a stadium, and yet all I get are questions about what's it like on game day? Is it really that loud? What I see on TV is it better in person? And all of these, I look at you and I nod my head and said, yeah, I've been telling you that for 20 years. It's been better than expected, I think, on a national level. But you got to remember, on Apple TV, all of our games are broadcast in over 107 countries. There's no blackouts. So now St. Louis is actually city on the international stage because of the sport, because of the, uh, the relationship with Apple TV and Major League Soccer. Now all of a sudden you're getting eyeballs that you wouldn't have gotten five, six, ten years ago. What's it been like seeing the growth of the league firsthand and the sport here in North America? Uh, it, it's weird for me to be looking into my computer here, talking to you guys in St. Louis, a week after 72,000 people showed up in Kansas City, Missouri. That's more than any soccer game in the history of the state of Missouri to watch a Major League Soccer League game. If you would ask me that 10, 15 years ago, I would have told you you're out of your coconut. There's zero chance that I'm going to be going to Nashville, to Austin, to Cincinnati, now to St. Louis, eventually to San Diego next season, and have these stadiums where it is a legit event. See, when I played in this league, we felt like the ugly stepchild. There was 10, 15,000 in a 65,000 NFL stadium. Now, all of a sudden, with the World Cup coming here in 2026, you're going to get a lot of eyeballs now all of a sudden on these 25, 26 beautiful stadiums, the infrastructure, this league. It's kind of hard to quantify how quickly this happened. I'm not that old. I'm 44 years old, and yet in the blink of an eye, all of a sudden, the league has arrived. Good stuff. Thank you for joining us, Taylor. You can check him out on Apple TV. And, of course, go City SC. We're